Amsterdam isn't even 800 years old. Okay, that is quite old. Uh, but it's amazing what they've packed into that time. This makes an overview and a framework for when you join me walking around town. You can slot things into where they belong because the city doesn't always unfold itself chronologically. You can join me on a walking tour in person or also on one of my new virtual Zoom tours online. What I'm going to cover in this video is the 1200s when Amsterdam began as a settlement around a dam across a river. The 1300s, where there was a miracle in town. The 14s, when people here challenged the dominant trading power of the time. The 15s, when they challenged the mighty Habsburg Empire and went to war. The 1600s was the emergence of a republic here and the Dutch Golden Age. And in the 1700s, a decline in trading fortunes. The 18s dominated by the monarchy, the 19s world wars and the emergence of counterculture. The 2000s there have been issues of multiculturalism, gentrification and sustainability. Always of course water defences as well. So let's start at the beginning and head right back to the beginning of the 1200s. In the early to mid 1200s, some people built a dam across the Amstel River to keep out the high tide. They built that dam about 500 meters inland from the mouth, making a nice harbor in front of it for fishing boats. Of course, the high tide would have gone over the edges of the river because it's such a low lying part of the world here. So they had to build defenses. These are called dikes or levees in the US and these are big man-made banks of earth that run along the river sides and the seafront keeping the people here safe and dry. 1275 is considered to be Amsterdam's birthday because this is the first time the city was mentioned officially in a document. Count Floris of Holland, the local nobleman, said if you come and live here on this dam on the Amstel, which became known as Amstel Redame and then Amsterdam, you can trade on my rivers without paying a toll. He was the Count of Holland. This is the drainage system of Europe. He has a lot of rivers, so traders got an excellent advantage if they came here, which they did. Now, Floris wasn't trying to be nice and sociable and fun. He wanted to pull them here because he knew that trade equaled money equaled influence, and this was going to be the best way to protect his lands. It worked. In the 1300s, there was a miracle in town. Now there's a lot of water here, so walking on it would have been great. But please don't get your hopes up too high because they were pretty easily impressed in 1345. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I look forward to meeting you in person in the future.